Hello Internet World, welcome to my review of the iFi Zen Stream. This is a Wi-Fi audio transport or streamer. It was very kindly sent in to me free of charge by the manufacturer. No money's exchanged hands, they haven't asked me to say anything in particular or pre-approve the content. I'm just going to share with you my experience so you can make an informed buying decision. I've also got a couple of bonus products to share with you in this video as well. So let's get on with the review. This is the iFi Audio iPower. It's uh, an audio power supply. So I've reviewed their products previously, including the iFi Zendac version two, and that runs via USB, but you can purchase an optional uh, power supply, which allows you to get more out of your iFi devices. So this is what the product box looks like. It says here, micro USB adapter included, five volt, 2.5 amp. So it's the ultimate 5 volt, 9 volt, 12 volt, 15 volt audio power supply. We take a look around on the back here. It just gives you some information about the products you could use this, use this with and also the benefits. On the side, it also says here up to 10 times quieter than the original iFi ultra low noise ACDC adapter. So that's really interesting. So this is a, like a clean, really well designed power supply. Inside the box, you get lots of different accessories. You get a little tiny uh, USB-C adapter. You get various country specific uh, sort of clip-on adapters for the main power supply. We've got another adapter here, right angle design. Another one in here, which has got micro USB on it. We've also got a, a European adapter in here as well this angled flat blade adapter, and also various tips as well. So we get a set of four different tips in this top right hand corner. And then we get the power supply itself, which we'll take a close look at in a moment. We also get a USB adapter, and we also get another, I think this is a reverse polarity adapter in the box as well. And of course some paperwork, which includes the warranty after sales information and various information about the fasteners and the uh, bits and pieces that are supplied inside the box. And then the power adapter itself is just really well made, a decent length cable on it. Uh, we've also got the three pin UK adapter plate installed. They're very easy to remove, they just slide off like so. And then if I can do this, they slide back into place like so and then clip into place. So really easy to change these out for the different country uh, adapter plates. And this is just gonna provide a very clean, uh, low noise uh, current to your devices. It's ideal for use with iFi products, of course, but you could use it with other uh, manufacturer products as well. This is the iFi 4.4 to XLR cable. Uh, this is a really well-constructed cable come supplied in this very compact box. If we turn this over, it tells you some of the details about the cable. So this is uh, created to give you the maximum quality balanced signal transfer and minimum interference. It's 4.4 millimeter to XLR. It employs heavy OFHC continuous cast copper, silver matrix conductors with a total cross section of 16 AWG for the best signal transfer. And so it goes on. It's a really, well constructed cable. We get a little bit of paperwork inside the box, including details about the cable itself and also about the after sales information. And then of course, this beautiful, beautiful cable. It's so well constructed. Uh, we've got this um, uh, intertwined cable here, which is uh, sort of spiral wrapped. Very, very nice indeed. The quality of the connectors are so, so good. So this is the 4.4 millimeter connector and then this is the XLR so it splits out to dual XLRs and this is ideal for if you're using a headphone amplifier uh, or a balanced amplifier where you really need to get a 4.4 millimeter input into it via the XLR connections it's just beautifully made so so well constructed and it sounds absolutely superb really nicely presented as well this is the iFi 4.4 to XLR cable
This is the iFi Zen Stream with power. It comes with a power supply inside the box. It's a Wi-Fi audio transport that's going to give you some really good streaming functionality. This is what the product box looks like. If we turn that box over, you can see some of the main specifications. You can pause the video if you want to to read this back. But it's a high performance Wi-Fi streaming device that allows you to connect this to something like a DAC and then you can stream from uh, streaming services like Spotify and Tidal. Uh, it's also got some really nice features listed off here, including a 64-bit quad-core ARM Cortex microprocessor, also 32-bit 348 kilohertz PCM support and DSD256. That's supported over Wi-Fi and Ethernet. Uh, and also the ability to stream direct from the Spotify and Tidal apps with Spotify Connect or Tidal Connect. So really uh, cool features on this. Let's just pop that product box to one side. So inside the box, you of course get the iFi Zen Stream itself. We'll take a closer look at that in a short while. We also get a short Ethernet cable. We also of course get the power supply inside the box. Now mine's got a UK power supply inside the box but you can, of course, um, use your country-specific power supply. If you buy this in another country, it's going to come supplied with something slightly different to that. We also get a little tiny screwdriver. We also get some warranty information. We also get some details about the buttons and the LED status indicators on the device and, of course, on the back as well. And then we also get this uh, really nice uh, guide for connecting everything up, connecting to your Wi-Fi network, uh, the LED status, and, and really how, just how to get the device up and running nice and quickly. And then we get the iFi Zen Stream itself, and this is beautifully made. As with uh, all iFi products I've tested, uh, the majority of them in this really nice metal case, really nice finish to it. It feels like a, a robust device. And then, of course, on the front here, You've got the uh, power switch, little tiny indicator. We've also got network status LEDs. We've also got audio status LEDs as well. So depending upon which color this lights up in, will tell you or, or indicate which audio format. And we've also got um, uh, an LED for the hotspot status and also a hotspot switch as well. Tiny little pipette feet on the bottom and then round on the back, we've got all of the other uh, connections including the antenna. We've also got the exclusive modes dial so this is like um, where you switch it to the mode that you want to use the device in and that could be an all-in-one mode, rune only, tidal only, NAA which is network audio adapter or DLNA. Then we've got the uh, SPDIF or coaxial output. We've also got a couple of USBs here as well, system upgrade port, Ethernet, little tiny reset and then the input for the power supply. Now once you've got this set up, and it is fairly easy to set up, once you've got it set up and running, connected to your DAC uh, and you've got the audio amplified so you can either hear it via your headphones or maybe a little amplifier, this is absolutely superb. It's such a neat box of tricks and the fact that you've got access to DLNA as well, but indeed the streaming services, Tidal and Spotify, it just works so well. Now it will also support other streaming apps as well, including Kobuz, YouTube Music, QQ Music, uh, a whole list of different ones. Even Fubar, I think, is supported on this as well. It just works brilliantly. iFi have done a fantastic job on this. This is the Zen Stream. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you want to pick up the iFi Zen Stream for yourself, or indeed either of these two products, then please do check out the links underneath the video. There's also a link down there to the manufacturer's website. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in another video very, very soon.